Okay, folks, I think we are live here. It's about today's Tuesday, today's Tuesday right? Tuesday, about 2.15 p.m. on Pacific Standard Time. Uh, Michael, if you are watching, uh, big shout out to Michael from uh, MK Studio from Denmark. And it's uh, in Denmark time right now, it's really, really uh, late at night. So I know most likely he's not watching right now, but if you are watching tomorrow or so, okay, thanks again, buddy. Thanks again from Michael from MK Studio. So anyway, so this is really, really special. Okay, special uh, brew device, all right? Because, okay, so there is, you know, so this the, uh, MK Studio products, I mean, they make wonderful ceramic uh, brewing device, and also they make plates, and, but, I mean, this is so much fun, okay? So this is the fun, uh, I mean, so this is made for coffee hobbyists. Okay, for sure. I mean, if you're a regular, casual, uh, pour-over drinker, okay, pour-over uh, hobbyist, okay, I mean, it's, it may not for you guys, but if you are a hardcore, okay, if you love the pour-over, if you love the way it's look and feel of it, I mean, I think, uh, I think MK is the, I have to say, I think that's the only company I know personally, okay, makes that, deliver that product to you guys. Okay, for sure. Uh, because there's a lot of great drippers out there. Okay, I'm behind me I have Origami, I have Orea, we have a April, we have a Kalita, uh, we have Fellow Stack X makes one as well. They're a wonderful flat bottom dripper. But it's nothing like, okay, it's nothing like the MK Studio. Okay. I mean I mean look at I mean look at this. Okay, look at this a uh, ceramic device. And also, uh, even Ken, Ken uh, has one too. Uh, uh, love my MK drip. I mean, it's just a fun to use. Okay, just the look and feel. They're fantastic. Okay, so this is a like uh, Ken say, uh, coffee rabbit hole to the max. You are absolutely correct, Ken. So again, so this brewing device is not for it's not for regular. Uh, prover uh, coffee lovers okay so this is i mean you need to be really really deep down okay in the rabbit hole that I really appreciate this all right because uh so i found this company about a couple of years ago a couple of years ago uh there is a famous uh he's a world class uh, uh, uh the brewers cup champion shout out to Ilika lefty uh so Ilika won uh, a couple of times actually he's a many times over u.s champion but he won a few times in the world brewers cup there is a competition uh that focused on the isco brewers cup that happens once a year and uh, i did compete not the uh, uh, brewers cup the open version i did a prelim a uh, couple of years uh, actually last year actually last year i did that uh they happened to be having uh, the prelim in tucson so I was enter the competition. It's so much fun. Okay, if you have an opportunity to compete on Brewers Cup there, you're gonna learn so much about how to brew coffee, dialing in there. Just just fun experience. And uh, at the time, uh, Elika actually he won. Okay, he won the U.S. Okay, Brewers Cup. He wasn't using MK Ripper. And he was uh, also using a uh, different cup though. I think he didn't, use, uh, he didn't use the sensory cup at the time, something else. Uh, he used the uh, MK dripper and the combination with the Cybrus, okay? The Cybrus paper as well. And then, uh, and then at the time, hold on, let me get another combination. So it's called Mellow Drip Lift, okay? Go right in there and you can control the flow of the flow rates. So he won the competition. So, uh, I mean, that was really fun to watch. Very unique, okay? Uh, extremely fast. Uh, look at the hole on the bottom, uh, really fast. So, you know, I mean, I'm a big fan of MK Drip for a long time. But the recently, okay, I got uh, this care package from uh, MK, the micro sender, he surprised me. So I have no idea what's inside, okay? So uh, it should be good. It should be a lot of fun. So I'm going to uh, do the live unboxing for you guys. And uh, let's brew some coffee after that. Okay, let's brew. I, I got some nice say coffee uh, I want to try today. So yeah, let's brew some coffee. Let's do some unbox. Uh, by the way, if you're joining us for the first time, 
Welcome to live streaming. So this is what we do every single afternoon. Okay, we do, if you're a first timer, uh, we go live, we just talk about coffee, obviously. We, even though we talk about the same thing every day, but I feel like, you know, it's something, you know, I learn something new every day, personally. But, you know, sometimes we talk about nothing, but we ended up talking for like, you know, 30, 40 minutes there, so. Uh, anyway, we have, uh, uh, again, a uh, shout out to Mr. Rainbow. He's also joining from Tel Aviv as well. We got Carlos. We have a Permetto Palm. Uh, just got my GP6, just came in. I literally took it out from the box minutes ago. Fantastic, okay. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe you should brew it, okay. You should brew some coffee there. Let me know what do you think about the GP6, all right. Uh, they're very, I'll uh, give you a very clean cup. Get a very clean cup there, so yeah, let me know. Again, if you are joining us for the first time, I have a big uh, TV setup right next to me. Okay, so I can see all your uh, comments, and so we can, you know, we can actually uh, chit chat a little bit as well. We got Brew by Jay also joining us as well. Hey Jay, are you a fan of MK or maybe you are too good for MK? Okay, all right, maybe too good for MK Dripper. I'm not quite sure. All right. So let's, uh, let's do some unboxing. Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm very excited about this. I am sucker for nice ceramic, okay? That looks cool. They're really fun to use. I mean, even like sensory cup, I mean, they're fantastic, okay? It's fun to use. I may have to say, it's, you know. Again, so this is like, uh, let's see here. Uh, even can say, uh, comes to pour over uh, coffee setup. I mean, this is to the max, okay? I mean, doesn't get any better than uh, MK Studio. So, again, I mean, it's pretty, it gets hot, okay? It gets hot. So it's not quite practical, but that's why you gotta hold it to the side there, okay? Uh, if, if you hold it to the top, you know, I mean, you can feel it. That's why you have this group here on the side, you can actually drink it. Uh, I mean, that's why where it's designed. But yeah, I mean, just, again, just fun to use. All right, I got some couple of different cups as well. So, so I got this one for quite a while, but this one, that's the reason why you guys are here for right now. So let's open it up, uh, let's open it up and uh, let's have some fun. All right, let's uh, switch the camera angle here for you guys, for your viewing. Okay, if you're just joining us for the first time, yeah, let me know. Okay, if you're a first timer, uh, let me know in the live chat so I can, I can acknowledge you. Okay. All right. Good. With MK Studio here. Okay, you guys ready for this? I mean, I am. Okay. Ah, well done. Okay, well done. Yep, we got uh, Michael and, oh gosh, I mean, I have a hard time pronouncing that name there meant you know i don't want to butcher your name okay so um, i know definitely michael i know michael uh michael was on my uh live streaming a few times what a wonderful what a wonderful couple uh he hooked me up with a nice flat silver paper uh, yeah the 50 fantastic there uh with a silver paper you have a few options you can go with like 25 okay so this one you can uh, get it from slow pull right now but yeah he sent me up properly so he sent me 50 silver's paper there okay let's start from the top okay mk studio handmade in denmark okay let's see here man check this out guys look at that this, what a beauty. Maybe perfectly go with this cup right here. Okay. Maybe perfect match. 
All right, so this is one. This is number two. Man, another one. Man, what a what a unique design there. I mean, so this is why it, it is a lot of fun. And then way it's designed. Okay. And number two. Hold on a second here. Oh, this is really cool. Man, look at these colors. What a fun colors they have. I have to say, I mean, they are fantastic. We, got, we have the three zippers there. Okay, we have more, okay. Let's start with the smaller things right here. Okay, if you are joining us, we are unboxing a very special gift from MK Studio. Again, shout out to Michael and his wife. I think they are married. All right, this is fantastic. A little uh, tray. Okay. This is great. All right. Another set. I can use that as a, like dosing tray, okay, perhaps. Man, this is a uh, fantastic there. Uh, that rock say ashtray, come on, buddy. Okay, so he hooked me up with another negotiator as well. I mean, I do have one already, okay? But this one is, uh, yeah, so I do have one. Right. I believe this is the made by Raymond. Shout out to Ray. I believe he designed it, okay? So if you're Ray, if you're watching, this is uh, a fantastic design, by the way. Okay, so that's great for the uh, paper. And last but least, we have uh, one more. So this is the few items we got from MK Studio today. Okay, let's make a little nice here. Let's see here. Let's find out what this is. I'm going to shout out to Mr. Rainbow for the super sticker there. I'm just going to properly open this. Again, what a fun, okay, what a fun uh, brewer. I mean, I do really enjoy ceramic. Uh, just make sure uh, do properly warm up before you brew. Okay, because you want to, you want to be nice and hot. I love how they package the cup as well. I mean, they did a pretty good job on it. Okay, we got some nice, oh wow, another sensory cup, guys. I mean, this is, uh, I want to go like, I'm not quite sure how it's going to work. I wonder if it could be cover. Nope, not the cover. Because, uh, so this is the earlier model, okay? Sensory cup, and uh, this is much thicker as well. This cup is much, much thicker.
Well, again, look at that sensory cup there. Just fantastic. Man, this is really fun cup as well. Oh, one last cup. Okay, if you're just joining us, we are unboxing wonderful gifts from MK Studio. Michael, thanks again, buddy. This is quite special. Good. I mean, goodness. I mean, they did really awesome design. Everything about MK does really fantastic job there. I, I think this is more like a dosing tray, perhaps. I wonder if I can use that for dosing tray. Yeah, for anything there. Again. Yeah, what a beautiful setup. Yeah, like, you know, again, so uh, so shout out to Chica for the super sticker as well. Yeah, I mean, okay, it's, it's a lot of fun. Okay, it's a lot of fun. All right, let's uh, back to my about 45 uh, people watching right now. Thank you so much for joining us for the kind of like my early uh, the Christmas gifts from. MK Studio, and uh, I think of Michael and his uh, lovely wife. And guys, yeah, um, so this is really fun. Okay, again, so this brewer, uh, this, uh, this, uh, let's say, pour-over wear, the glass wear, ceramic wear, uh, is definitely not for the beginners. And uh, you know, if you're getting into pour-over, uh, that's fine. But if you are, you know coffee hobbyist like us obviously you guys are watching and um, so this uh products for you guys uh, something fun okay something again uh if you're looking at mk dripper uh you are already deep into that rabbit hole okay and just so just making so it's not about making coffee anymore okay it's not about just the brewing device so now you have to kind of, okay so now we have the great brewing device with style right with the style and it does performs well okay it does performs well in even competition too all right uh so this uh this device actually won the brewers cup championship many times so it a uh, design works and comes the style again okay, this really fun color I mean, how, how, how fun is that, okay? I mean, you're gonna bring out, you know, a couple of MK Dripper, friends come over, hang out. I mean, they're gonna be shocked, okay? They're gonna be really enjoy, you know, brewing with this device. But again, uh, this is definitely not uh, just a regular coffee, uh, you know, drinkers out there. But again, so this is like the ultimate, you know, coffee hobbyist wants to you know have some fun with it and if you guys want to know the price just check out the MK studio uh, website hold on and then uh, let's see their products uh, MK dripper it's about uh, uh, let's see how much is that okay I'm trying to get the price for you guys okay Go to the collection there. I'm looking at their website right now. It's a 500 uh, KR, okay. That's the Denmark currency there, hold on. 580, yeah, a 580. So it's about $50, okay, it's about $53 there. 
And the, again, the shipping is uh, pretty expensive uh, coming from Denmark. So if you are planning on buying it, just don't buy one, okay? Just buy the set, all right? So you are looking at, you know, you're, the, you are looking at about 100 bucks per set, all right? You are looking at $100 per set. I mean, I mean, if you want to do it right, because you want to buy the MK Draper and also, you know, buy some sensory cup as well. So set back 100 bucks, minimum. Uh, the other hand, V60. If you go to Amazon right now, you're, you're going to spend about six bucks on it, six or seven dollars on it. That's it. Okay. And then six dollars on V60, and you're going to buy uh, paper. Okay. It's going to get you 100 paper for around ten dollars. Okay. So Troy said V60 for life. Correct. I mean, so this is if you want to make good coffee, great coffee, V60 is fine. Okay. You're going to have a really good time with the V60. But if you are in people like us, if you're a coffee hobbyist, if you want something more special, okay, something, you know, something more interesting, something cool, all right, now you have options, right? People like options. And then there's an MK Draper, okay? If you don't want an MK Draper, there's some other drippers out there as well, okay? I'm going to be, re uh, I'm going to be unboxing another dripper uh, uh, tomorrow as well. I'm going to, I'm going to. I have another flat bottom dripper as well. I got box sitting right there. So we're going to be unboxing that tomorrow. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, Grayson asked, so just clear up papers for MK dripper? Uh, yes and no. Okay. So this is the clear 185. Okay. 185 paper. Uh, fits perfect. Okay. Fits perfect, all right, it's great, uh, works good, okay? But uh, if you wanna do it properly, right? If you wanna do it properly, for the silver's paper, all right? So this paper is uh, quite nice. Okay, <laughs> expensive, but really nice. And I think uh, Jay, if you are watching, uh, Jay actually, Jay's been using uh, silver's paper for a while. I know Jay is using this paper on his brew session. Okay, he's about, he's about 25 cents per paper, I think. I'm not quite sure, but it's not quite pricey. Okay, it's not cheap paper. But if you want to play... So now, you need a uh, paper. You have the device. Okay, what about kettle, right? So we are talking about the ultimate pullover copy of our setup for coffee. Hobbyists like yourself, okay? So now, the choice is twenty-eight dollars for fifty filters. Okay, twenty-eight for filter. You can get a ten dollars for one hundred. All right. So you're looking at what sixty bucks for one hundred versus ten dollars for one hundred. So it's uh, you know it's kind of like it's different. It's different. Okay, let's put it that way. It's not one is better than other. It's definitely a uh, different uh, cup there cup quality. So you need a scale, okay? So nice, uh, we have fellow studio scale, Tali scale. So this is really fantastic for pour over coffee. So this one, I mean, if you want to go to the, I mean, ultimate setup, Akaya Pearl or this one, okay? This is about 220 bucks. I'll set you back about 220. And it comes to kettle. If you want to go with the fellow products, go with fellow EKG studio, okay? The stack EKG, okay? That's another 250. So now we have a kettle and scale such bag, what, 500, over 500. And then go with nice brewing device. Let, let's say 150 bucks, okay? 150 bucks. So now you're up to 650. And how about that grinder, right? So comes the grinder, just pick one, okay? Just whatever grinder you want, all right? But if you are spending 100 bucks on your pro over device, okay? I don't want you to spend. Uh, 
average uh, grinder, just make sure spend the money and get the best grinder you can for it. Okay, just make sure you get the grinder right. And after that, make sure you get the coffee right at the same time. Get the coffee right as well. Okay, get the coffee right. Uh, you don't want to drink some dark roast. I mean, if you want to, that's fine, okay? Nobody's going to judge you for it, okay? If you want to drink dark coffee, that's fine. All right, on your filter coffee. But if you want something, something else, all right, make sure spend, you know, spend some, do some research on it, uh, get the right coffee, okay? All right, so MGS said, Turin hand grinder. Uh, I think I, I already unboxed that already, okay, a while back. All right, hold on. Someone asked me about, uh, Grayson asked me about, did you get to fix the DF64V? Uh, uh, just the uh, wire is loose, okay? I just simply put back in. I think I should be okay after. The Iron Man Mark III. It's Iron Man, say Commandante Mark III, number of clicks for stack X. Uh, depends on the, uh, what, which paper I'm using on stack X, okay? If I use the like my uh, goose shader on my stack X, I go pretty low, okay? Because I want the high, I use the low dose. I use about one to, one to 20 ratio. I mean, that's what I use. So I go uh, somewhat fine, but if you are using the regular flat bottom paper, like clay 185, I go a little coarser. So yeah, all depends. You just gotta play with it. Okay, uh, trust your taste. Okay, trust your taste there. Uh, Nunez asked me, are you going to get the Pitro grinder? Pitro grinder, if you don't know what that is, that's the uh, Lance, uh, actually, Lance uh, designed, uh, somewhat designed it. He consulted with them. Uh, supposedly really nice. Uh, there's a flat bird grinder on hand grinder. I think, I believe there are 58. They're pretty large birds, okay. All right. They're pretty large bird. Uh, crazy, crazy something. What well, recommended grind size for cupping? I uh, currently have Commandante. I think with the cuffing, I go, I don't know, like 30 clicks or so. Okay, 30 clicks. Uh, Mark 4, I'm not sure. I have a Mark 3, right? I think I have a Commandante Mark 3. Um, uh, yeah, but yeah. And uh, yep, again, uh, just again, comes to uh, grind size, even the same grinder, but it's not the same. So make sure, uh, you know, just if, if you like the coffee, right? Whatever you brew, if you like the coffee, if a coffee is sour, okay, which means that they're under extracted and they just lower your grind setting to a little finer. If you are too bitter, right, over extracted, make that coarser. So again, uh, just make sure, so you, you want to balance cup unless you want, you know, unless you want sour cup, all right? So it's all depend on what you like. So yeah, do that. So again, just because you know your coffee well. So make sure trust that, make sure trust your taste buds all right trust your taste bud there let's see a uh, florian is also just joining us as well from i think i don't know where it's flying uh, germany i think i think florian is from germany we have a lot of friends from all over the all over the world mr rainbow okay i know we talked about this before okay what burr upgrade for pour over and is he said what burr uh, comes to DF64, if you like filter coffee, the ca I, I do enjoy the Caspers for the filter, okay? Definitely for Caspers for filter. If you just want the straight espresso, the high uniformity is nice, HU, all right? But if you like the pour over, if you want the clean, okay, clean cup, uh, MP burst. So, uh, you know, again, do you want to start switching up burrs or just buy another grinder, right? So, I don't know. I mean, that's the top one. So, this is the why. Okay, once you start getting into coffee as hobby, most likely you're going to have more than one grinder. Okay, because you don't want to back and forth switch out the burrs. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, Florian said Germany. And, yeah, just, just make sure. I mean, if you are all into coffee as your hobbyist, if you're a coffee hobbyist, just get another grinder. Okay, the fellow makes fellow O Gen 2. Makes, you know, pretty good grinder there. Uh, 350 bucks, nice, flat, 64 mil, millimeter. So uh, I think you pay like 180 for the upgraded for MP birds, but 350 plus 180, that's almost 200, right? Push off to 550, 
with 550 bucks, you can go with other options too. So make sure to think before, okay? Do not influence by people like us, people like, you know, making co uh, content, all right? And that the, that's the reason why I do live streaming for you guys. So you get to see it, okay? Because with the regular videos, they are highly edited. You know, sometimes, you know, we don't talk about obvious things, you know. But again, uh, again, do not influence by us, okay? Just make sure to trust your instinct, all right? Whenever you're buying stuff, especially coffee nowadays, coffee gear nowadays, they're getting very expensive, okay? So yeah, make sure, you know, whatever you're buying something, you feel good about buying, all right? Make sure you feel good about buying. Okay, uh, let's see, love your personality. Okay, say, should I get the timer or 78? Or start with the C40? Oh, C40 Commandante, right? Is that C40 Commandante? Yeah, yeah, that C40 is Commandante. They're over 300 bucks. Okay, if you are spending uh, 300 bucks, yeah, it's, that's, let's start with the GP6, okay? Uh, if I were you, I'm gonna start with the GP6. If you wanna buy hand grinder. If you want to, that's only 200 bucks. Half the, uh, you know, almost half the price. Almost half the price, right? GP uh, Commandante is about three three fifty. GP six is about one ninety nine right now, hundred uh, two hundred bucks there. And uh, I think it should cover your pour over. Okay, that does pretty clean cup. And O seventy eight, you're looking over about five sixty five seventy. So yeah, I mean that's huge investment at first. So, and then once you have a nice hand grinder. Uh, you just go with, you know, espresso grinder later. So, yeah, so you do have some options. But, I mean, I wouldn't go directly go to 78 right now un unless, okay, unless that's something you want to do, okay, if you don't mind, you know, invest that kind of money. Because, again, 078 is like over uh, 560, 570 at the moment. So it's not cheap. So, yeah. Uh, so make sure to do your research before. All right. All right. Uh, let's see what else. Again, I'm going to big shout out to Chico, Mr. Rainbow, for the super. Okay. And I think we are good for today. I was planning to uh, make some coffee, but I think I need to, I, I want to clean this up uh, before I'm going to make some coffee with it. I mean, what, I mean, what are fun cups, guys? Okay, what are fun cups? Uh, if you're in Denmark, Okay, if you're in Europe, the EU, uh, you don't have to worry about the shipping charge much. So, especially if you're in the Denmark, I know I got some viewers from Denmark as well. Yeah. Uh, Iron Man say, fellow has a bundle deal going on. So, yeah, make sure I have the fellow link underneath. So, make sure to check it out. All right. Make sure to check out my link for the fellow there. Uh, I don't have it yet. I think I, I should post it. Hold on a second here. Uh, Eric said, I canceled my DF, uh, DF64V, uh, I think, okay, DF64 with Casper to get the 078. I hope, uh, I hope made a good choice there. Uh, if you got the DF64, uh, DF64V is pretty cool, I have to say. Um, they're a really cool grinder, but DF64, all right, with the Caspers, it's about the same price, right? About the same price as 078. I mean, 078 is good for, okay? They are good for pour over. That's it. They are not, uh, they are not good for espresso. If you want the espresso, you have to go with the 078S, okay? Uh, the great thing about the Caspers, they, uh, they, are, they are good for the espresso and also pour over as well because I try both already. So they are, they are legit. The Caspers are legit. And the Eric say, uh, Lance push me to the 078. I only do pour over. Okay, if you if you are planning on doing only pour over, I mean I think it's not a bad idea. Okay, 078. I mean I do trust Lance's opinion. Okay, uh, Lance. I mean Lance loves you know pour over coffee, clean cup coffee. So I mean it's a, I mean, yeah. I think I, I think I do trust him with 078. I I do want to try someday. Okay, 
I do, I do want to try the 078 because, I mean, Lance really hyped it up over the last couple months there. So, yeah, I'm very curious, okay? I'm very curious because I do have uh, quite a few grinders on the back, on my back there. So, yeah, I do have some good idea, but uh, 078 is a completely different birds. So, I'm very looking forward to try it out someday there. Okay, folks, I think I hope uh, you guys are having a great afternoon. It's about almost 3 o'clock. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to clean this. And uh, I think I'm going to go to Instagram. Okay, I'm going to do the Instagram and then make some coffee with it. Yeah, I haven't done Instagram in a while. So uh, let's do Instagram live there. Uh, if you guys want to join us on Instagram, just, uh, you know, just watch out for my notification. Okay, you usually show up on the top on Instagram. So I know some of you are not doing Instagram. I understand, okay, because not everybody likes Instagram, so. Anyway, I'm so glad you guys are here this afternoon to hang out with us. Uh, if I don't see you, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow, okay? We're going to do another unboxing tomorrow, all right? All right, see you guys next time.